Welcome back to my channel where I am me and you are you. Uh, look who's here. <laughs> look who's here. Stay watching to see the rest. So everything's in there that's here. Yeah, I just wanted to. Toothpaste, you have it in there. Face wash, deodorant, you have it in there. What face wash do you want? We're on our way to the hospital. So I'm at the hospital and I am by myself because you are not allowed to have anyone here until you test negative for COVID. I haven't even got the test yet. I'm just hooked up to monitors. So whenever someone decides to come in here and give me the test, then we have to wait another hour for results and then Jose can be with me. So until then, I'm FaceTiming him. He's helping me through the contractions, but this is ridiculous. I'd rather have had the baby at home. So, Jose is finally with me. Um, I was five centimeters when before he came up here, and my contractions were so bad and so intense that it was making my blood pressure go through the roof and putting me and the baby at risk. So, I decided to get the epidural but I've never felt better. And now they checked my cervix and I'm at six, seven, like it's at six now. So she will be here very soon. I feel so good though. Yeah, it's gone now. Hmm. So, and, like I said, any of your contractions, your water can break. Uh, baby's head is lower, especially with the contraction. Okay. Uh, you're eight. Eight centimeters? Yes. No way. Mm -hmm. Babe, your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh so that epidural really helped because if i didn't take that you think i would still be yeah i think so too okay so i just want you to keep laying on your side like that same way okay yep i'm just gonna use this without a cover if you don't oh use whatever you need Ooh, like that. I'm just doing that. Okay. You're doing great. You're, what you're feeling is a lot of pressure down there. Right? Mm hmm Yeah. That was funny, babe. Okay. <laughs> It was funny. I just got off the phone with his mom and was like, yeah, I'm six, six, six centimeters. <clears throat> it's literally right there. It's so it's like a water balloon. A tight, tight water balloon. Oh, Lord. Okay. That's about to pop. Yeah. I'll give you right back. Let me grab some stuff. Okay, thank you. Eight centimeters? No, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Can you record the video with that shaking? I know. <laughs> my hands are over here. Look, oh Lord. Why did they say I was on the oxygen mask again? Oh, the baby. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Dang, my hot breath, look. It looks normal though, babe. Yeah? My heartbeat, or the babies? Oh, they did? 
I hear it though. Can you feel it? Yeah, I hear it. Can you feel her? Yeah, I can feel her. She's freaking moving. Which one? That one? No, I think that's the contractions. Either that or blood pressure. I have no idea. Then there's my baby Rose. <laughs> That's my baby right there. Yes, sir. She's so damn pretty, man. That is silly. Say what's up, baby. Ooh. What's Look at up? Look your gorgeous <laughs> ass. You know, killed labor and all, and still look <laughs> like you ain't got touched. Uh, you impressive as hell, baby. I love you. I love you more. I love you more. Mm. You're my baby. She's doing it, babe. Look at it. Yeah, I see. She learning shit quick right now. She ain't got teeth yet. Straight. Just, oh, God. The freaking part. My fucking babies. I love you. Let me love you, too. <laughs> Now, this some shit I'll die about. <laughs> For real. To the T, baby. What it do? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> My baby's in the back. We gotta get you in there. My baby's in the back. Mmm. Mmm. My baby's in the back. Mmm. <laughs> mm. My baby's in the you back. You just said you were gonna make me laugh right mm. during it? I told you. I tried to. I couldn't really crack no jokes in the beginning, but you know. Take these from oh yeah, here. go ahead. Just they're warm. No, you're good. There you go. <laughs> She knows that voice too well. <clears throat> Guys, Rose was born at 6.43 a.m. She weighed five pounds, two ounces, 18 inches, super, super tiny. <laughs> and we're exhausted now, eating ice. And daddy's over there with her. We're exhausted. <sighs> but we're gonna get some rest. Keep you guys posted.
I know this vlog hasn't been the best, but I'm doing what I can. So they just moved us up to our official room. <sighs> Baby Rose is here. So the reason why I still have this mask on my freaking chin is because it is mandatory to have your mask on no matter what, even during birth, like during labor. So that's why I have it on. But I'm so tired. I'm about to get some rest. My body is aching. My body is sore. Moms, moms, you are the freaking best. Because let me tell you, this pain is like no other. But it's all for you. And I would do it all over again. I just finished breastfeeding. I just finished breastfeeding. I was breastfeeding for about, I want to say, an hour and alternating um, between both breasts. And she did so good. She latched, she drank, and she is full. <laughs> so now I'm just relaxing, eating some graham crackers because this food is trash. But me and Jose are alternating right now. So he's about to get up in a second and go get me food. And then I'm going to sleep for a little bit. Carb. I'm done. You sleepy, baby? Mm -hmm. Did you make me? You so Did she ever say anything about Sometimes children face some problems later, or they as far as Natalie is concerned, her parents were too inattentive. There she goes. <laughs> 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 Hey, so it is 7 p.m. right now. Well, 7.06 to be exact. And this little one's sleeping. She drank so much milk that she is out, okay? Completely out. Um, Her dad's in the shower right now. After he gets out, I'm going to take a shower and rest because this man literally brought me so much food that I don't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> But, um, man, let me explain to you guys what pregnancy, well, what labor is like. So, labor for me was very, very scary. Um, my contraction started at 6.51 in the morning, okay? Um, and they were every nine minutes. They were not intense, but they were every nine minutes. Um, they didn't start getting intense until about 8 o'clock at night. And at 8 o'clock at night, they started becoming, like, just untol- Like, they're ju they just weren't tolerable. So, I wound up staying home, going through those contractions until, I want to say, 10, 10.30. And then, it's a 20-minute drive to the hospital. So, on the way to the hospital, I was having... I had four contractions on the way to the hospital, literally twisting and turning in the car, going, Oof, you know, grabbing everything, just going crazy, grabbing the seatbelt, like Jose's arm, going crazy. Okay, to top it off, sorry, the nurses just came in because they're switching to the night shift. So, like I was saying, um, let me try to remember where I left off. Oh, yeah, and to top it off, yesterday was the 16th. And the 16th was Jose's brother's birthday. So everyone's at the house. We're all singing happy birthday. Two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. MJ, 
I love your face. <laughs> they, dear Alex, happy birthday to you. Woo! All this stuff. During that, I'm going like having these contractions. Like freaking crazy um but anyways so we get to the hospital um jose runs inside says i need a wheelchair because i'm having these contractions i can't even walk okay so they don't have a wheelchair available so i had to wobble okay through these contractions all the way to the front desk sign some paperwork hold on so i waddled up signed this paperwork okay and then they had the audacity to tell me that I have to take the COVID test. Okay, fine. I have to take the COVID test. Well, now I have to go up to labor and delivery. Okay, go up there by myself. Okay, and be by myself for an hour to an hour and a half, maybe two. Okay, so when I went into the labor and delivery section, um they were so packed okay i kid you not they were so packed that they were setting up beds in the hall beds in the hall for women that were pregnant luckily i wasn't one of those because i would have been freaking livid especially with the pain that i was going through i thought i was ready to give birth as soon as i got there because i stayed home as long as i could so when i get there they were like oh so just stay here get comfortable because it's probably gonna be a while before you get seen and get to take the test so i'm like great so i have to wait an hour for results on top of whatever time i have to wait to take the test <laughs> basically our hospital trip i know the vlog wasn't the best but i was in excruciating pain i wasn't even thinking about recording i really wish i did though because the whole birthing process was so beautiful and she's such a blessing and she's a great baby um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe because like i always say I love it when my family gets bigger, can't you tell? So don't forget to subscribe, guys. Have a blessed one.